Hello boys and girls, today's topic is going to be another episode of how to start the turn well. More specifically, we're looking at the upward release, which is something that was very common 20 years ago, but nowadays folks just usually do some form of downward release. But not so with Marco Odamat, who has recently proven that it is still a very viable option and still should definitely be learned. So, what is the upward release? If the hip is high during the transition, then we call it an upward release, which is exactly what you can see here. In contrast to this, Jan Krangitz, for example, uh, is doing a downward release, which you can see here. All right, uh, let's explain the idea behind an upward release. After having enough direction, Marco basically stands up, leaving his center of gravity high. Then, as he starts the next turn, he lets the high center of gravity drop a little bit uh, by flexing the knees a little more, putting pressure on the front part of the boot. Notice that his skis are already on the edges, meaning the forward pressure in the boot directly puts more pressure on the front part of the skis. And that means his skis are more willingly turning into the fall line, making a shorter radius possible. Uh, let's have another look at it. He releases the skis and stands up. Then he lets his body fall a little bit and through that the front part of the skis experience more pressure which makes the skis turn more quickly into the fall line. This is what he does for most of the flattish parts and sometimes even the steeper parts as well. Now let's compare the upward release with the downward release, Odamat with Kranjic, just to emphasize the difference between the two. As you can see, there's quite a lot of differences, nevertheless both are fast. And to me this is part of the beauty of skiing. Two different approaches lead to a similar result and whatever works for one person does not necessarily work for another. If you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing to the channel, it's for free and you can unsubscribe if you don't enjoy the content anymore. Uh, thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions please leave, uh, leave questions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video, ciao ciao!